Hi, my name is Cherise and welcome to my channel. 28 days ago, I decided to start this challenge from Chloe Ting. As a stay-at-home mom with an almost zero level social life, I would say my fitness level isn't the greatest to start with, but this also wasn't the start of my fitness journey. A little over a year ago, I made the decision to become healthier and to find some sort of purpose in life. After all, if you're not embarrassed of the version of yourself you were a year ago, then it's a sign that you're not growing. Here's a quick pic of me a year ago versus now. I'm definitely proud of how far I've come. This is a compilation of the last 28 day shorts I posted. Now keep in mind, I have already lost a lot of weight and it's only a 28 day period during my whole fitness journey. So please don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like to see more. So this challenge was actually not that hard at all. It was mainly slow movements and strength training with weights. It focused on glutes and abs with arms secondary to give us an hourglass effect. This was my favorite challenge of hers and also the first time I've tried an hourglass challenge. It seemed very similar to Caroline Govin's fuel challenge I did for six weeks last year. I ate really healthy to fuel my body and increase my protein to build muscle. I ate bananas every day for potassium so I slept well when there wasn't load shedding in the night. And I performed well. I don't feel I drank enough water though and halfway through the challenge I had a major iron deficiency. However, I ate sheep liver and grapevine leaves and that made me feel tons better from all that iron and my extreme bruising stopped. Other than that, I had a very pleasant experience and I didn't need to take any additional rest days. I didn't use any supplements, I lost all my weight completely naturally. I ate only twice most days incorporating intermittent fasting and never restricted myself to any specific amount of calories. I ate intuitively but healthy. Please feel free to ask me any questions in the comments and I will gladly answer. Now I will show you my final day's meals and workout, then I will end off this video with my big weigh in, the before and the after. This was truly a massive change in weight and measurement so please make sure to stick around until the end and let me know what you think of this video. But for now, enjoy the last minute or so of my compilation of all the shorts I posted for the 28 day challenge.
you can see, I was super excited for this last day of this challenge. I just really do enjoy these workouts. So I wasn't happy that it ended, but I am very happy to have accomplished completing this. So some more news is I'll be creating my own exercise program soon. I'm also starting a functional fitness hybrid challenge from Fitness KK. That will be the next challenge that I do. Um, my next video will be a fitness clothing haul and review from Sheen because I ordered myself some fitness clothes. Seeing as I lost almost like 8 kilos already, I had to get some new clothes. And plus these, these are like a year and a half old already. Then also, thanks so much for watching and leave me a comment on this video if you found any value in it or a like if you truly enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. So this is where things got really interesting. I know I lost 2.8 kg, but the centimeters shocked me, you know? To lose a centimeter around my neck and two centimeters around my arms, that was a shocker for me, I'm sure you could see my face. Three centimeters around my waist, four centimeters hips, even five centimeters on my thighs. That was the area I lost the most weight was on my thighs and I do see a massive difference there. So the amount of centimeters were crazy and I feel like I saw an improvement not only in my weight but also in my centimeters, also in my the way that I move, my energy levels, but like I said, the iron, the extra iron that I ate really helped a lot with that. So yeah, this was this was fun. And I'm excited to see how much like how much further I can go into this fitness journey. But I'm really starting to enjoy all the different ways of moving my body. Like I said, I'm trying this calisthenic hybrid fitness thing next week. I did yoga recently. I've done all kinds of things. Hit, Tabata, 
just go look at my videos you'll see everything i've tried and i'll be trying so much more my biggest goal in life is to become super fit i love moving my body i don't know why it took me so many years to figure that out because i never had this passion for fitness until now